r slash credit. People who lost their virginity after age 35, or never did. What's your story? I was 35. Fat. No self-esteem. The usual story. I had long since given up on actively looking for dates. I was comfortable being single, and had made peace with my life. Then I just happened to meet someone on a bus, while on vacation and we clicked. Did the semi long distance thing for a couple months before properly hooking up. The first time was... Predictably awkward. She knew what she was doing though, and I've since figured things out. Practice makes perfect and whatnot. Eventually she moved in with me, and we got married. Still are. It's not a super interesting story or anything. But you asked for it. Your story gives me hope and glad you found her. Edit. Thanks everyone. Same. I'm in the, or never did, camp. Not much of a story to tell. Just too much of a recluse, and lacking self-confidence. So. There was never an opportunity and a few decades later here I am. Girls think I'm gay and gay people think I'm ugly. A very large, very flamboyant gay man was hitting on my straight friend. Trying to deflect the unwanted attention to me. Also a hetero male. He said what about Eki Jan A, the guy locks eyes with me, and says straight to my face. You're too ugly to be gay. I'm still not sure how I feel about that. And it didn't stop the guy from hitting on my friend. Lol I wondered what depraved sexual practice Eki Jan A was at first, before I noticed it is your username. The internet has ruined me. I think it translates to not sexual. 48 years old here. Never had anything to offer. Zero self confidence. Face like an orc. Never even attempted to attract a woman. Never got further than polite conversation. Some people are very into orcs. I mean Fiona fell in love with Shrek. My ex was a 35 year old virgin. I was 39 at the time. So this would have been about 8 years ago. It just never happened for her. She always thought there would be plenty of time and next thing you know she was 35. And I was her first boyfriend. I understood this coming in. It came up as a conversation, before we became an exclusive couple, and it didn't bother me for the most part. After we were exclusive for a month or so I thought we would get to at least a PG-13 relationship, under the bra over the pants, and she said how much it made her feel like a whore. I stuck in for a while, but that was nearly a deal breaker for me. There's one thing to be cautious. But if you're that uncomfortable with sexuality then I started to get concerned. Boy was I wrong about a month after that she was comfortable enough that I performed oral on her. I was content with the thought that this would be our sex life for the next year. A week later she wanted to reciprocate and boom off to the races. Without giving in gentlemanly details let's just say the next 3 months were her wanting to experiment with everything that she felt was missing. Without giving in gentlemanly details you put it in her butt. Didn't you? I love how your username is relevant yet somehow completely not. Same goes for your two. Kind of. 30 year old male virgin. Never happened for me in college. Despite being sociable, and having a pretty large group of friends slash acquaintances, and being in the type of environment where it should have been easy, I kind of just assumed it would happen at some point. Maybe I would have been more aggressive if I knew what was store for me lol. Then for most of my early slash mid twenties was suffering through unemployment slash underemployment mixed with the accompanying depression which made me very uninterested in pursuing relationships. Was more concerned with staying alive. Got my first steady 9 to 5 job at 26, but kept putting it off, because I was convinced I needed to make more money, establish myself, get my ducks in a row, etc before anyone would be interested in me. And now at 30, I'm absolutely terrified to put myself out there, because I know the virgin thing will come up at some point and I know it's not normal. Unless maybe you're religious. Like just imagining 
having to explain it to someone my age after 2-3 two, two, dates. Yikes. So yeah. Good times. Edit. Just wanted to say thanks for the kind words and different perspectives. It's encouraging to hear other people's experiences. I definitely think I'm getting a bit too in my head about this. Which I have a tendency to do. I'll probably make the decision about whether to disclose or not on an individual basis. I know even if it might make some hypothetical girl uncomfortable. It's not the end of the world and there will be others for whom it's not a big deal. Just have to put myself out there more. Good thing there's a pandemic going on. This may be an unpopular opinion. But I don't know that it's totally necessary to disclose that you're a virgin before you have sex. As a single woman in my 30s, yes, I expect that the men I date have had sex before. But I've never actually asked, and I don't think I would feel betrayed if I found out afterwards. I've had bad sex with men who had more prior experience, and good sex with men who had less experience. Eagerness, confidence, and a willingness to be communicative can get you much further than learned technique. In my experience, since not everyone responds to the same moves, I think if I got to know someone, and they showed emotional maturity, and our personalities clicked well, then a lack of sexual experience wouldn't necessarily be a deal breaker. Just saying. Don't count yourself out just yet. Yeah that's a good point. I'm sure most wouldn't ask. Not sure how I feel about omitting the fact. I wonder what other people think. Like if the roles were reversed, and I found out after the fact. I don't think I'd be mad for SE. But maybe. Peeved. There's also the possibility that it's so bad she would deduce the truth anyway. Which is mortifying on its own haha. And thanks for the encouragement. I'm 40 and still a virgin. Something I never thought I'd be freely admitting on the internet to strangers. But there you go. Basically my parents told me from a really young age that I was ugly and weird and no one would want me. Any boy I did get close with. My mum pretty much scared away within a few days. Then told everyone it hadn't worked out because I wasn't interested in that sort of thing. To this day I don't know why she did this. Maybe it was a control thing. Or she had some kind of hang up herself. No idea, of course. People at school picked up on this. Especially at primary school, since my mother taught at the school I attended, and so made comments about my appearance in front of the other students, who gleefully picked this up as prime bullying material. Anyway, upshot was that by the time I left home at 18 and went to college, I was convinced myself that I was ugly and weird and no one would want to go near me. I didn't bother taking care of myself or making any effort because I'd always been told there was no point. So it became a vicious circle kind of thing. I'm by no means a beauty, but I realize now I'm not as hideous as everyone made out. Even when I eventually realized that my mum was nuts and I had to be my own person, the damage was kind of done. No matter how much I try to be confident now, there's always that big bit of me that thinks, do I have a right to use a dating app, when really I'm such a waste of space, or doesn't want to try anything like Tinder, or whatever because you need to upload a picture and a big part of me thinks it'll put people off. People pick up on that lack of confidence when I speak to the viral, and it puts people off, which then eats away at my self-esteem even more. To the point where I really don't know how to fix this. To make matters worse, I got breast cancer 6 years ago and had to have some pretty extreme reconstruction because of the type of tumor it was and the damage it did. So I'm now covered in scars. The one bit of my body I used to be proud of was my boobs. And now they're completely horrible. I know I've pushed people away and can think of numerous times when men were hitting on me. And I either didn't realize, or didn't want to admit it, because I was scared I was interpreting things wrongly, and would end up making a fool of myself. So I reckon it's self-isolation for me for the foreseeable future. I, 
I really think you could benefit from therapy, because you can get some coping mechanisms to help with your self-esteem and your anxiety about your interactions with men. It's not exactly the same. But my friend had a very similar childhood as you, it was her father, and she was also made to feel guilty that she wasn't disabled like her older sister, but in just a few months I've seen a huge change in her. If you can afford it, give it a try. It might not get you a boyfriend, but it can help you feel better about yourself as a person. Stop asking about my future. We will be powerful wizards. Eh? I had a work colleague who at age 42 is still a virgin. Thing is she wanted to have sex. She talked about it all the time. She wasn't religious. She didn't want to be married first. She didn't have any reason to not have sex. She just said it just never happened for her. And then as she got older and older it got harder and harder. Because potential partners thought it was weird. She's a pretty attractive woman too so at it. To clear things up. I'm also a woman, and have no D to offer her. Did potential partners actually think it was weird, or was she just afraid people would think it was weird? That's what I wonder. I mean, just don't tell him, right? I have a hard time imagining every guy in her life for the past 20 years saying, who gross I don't wanna have sex with you. Attractive lady. Yeah I suspect there's something else going on. There always is. Even very ugly people can find love. Just stop by your local Walmart. It's always something deeper. I have a friend like this. He's 45. He had an inane list of criteria a woman must meet before he even dates her. It may have been plausible when he was younger, but now I wish him good luck. Lol. I have a friend like this who is still young and it scares me how whacked up his ideas of a suitable girlfriend is. He's usually a genuinely nice person but holy shit. When it comes to a potential GF, she apparently has to like exactly the anime he likes and exactly the anime he hates. I'm sure you can picture the exact condescending this is an important screening test I have deigned to put you through to determine your nerd cred tone. In the way a comic book neck that might have cook and clean after him, but not just that. She has to cook amazing perfect Italian food and Japanese food. So preferably she is both ethnically Italian and Japanese, but at the same time. She needs to be fluent in English. She needs to be Catholic. She needs to code. And she also to have the exact views and preferences on coding. Coding languages and on tech devices which he has, but she can't just be meek and agree with everything he says. She has to argue and engage in debate with him, and then ultimately concede that he is correct. She also needs to be curvy with a large chest, on and on. Our mutual friend basically thinks he just sets up himself with that clearly insane and unreasonable list as a cover for himself just being too socially awkward, insecure and nervous to approach women romantically. With such an unrealistic screening process, he can tell himself that it's not that I was too nervous to pursue her. She wasn't good enough for me anyway. It's double weird BC he can have female friends just fine. He makes friends of both genders really easily and casually. The crazy only comes out if you ask him why he won't romantically date a given girl good friend of mine was in his late 30s he suffered from some really bad social anxiety and as a result was really awkward in a lot of social settings. After collage he would work go home practice playing the drums or watch movies. He wouldn't even travel. I invited him on my adventure several times he would always find a reason to not come. Dude basically worked a good job to make money and by build an ugly home theater. This last year he decided he was going to try online dating, and shit went sideways. We all have bad online dating stories. I convinced him to take up recreational sports, he met a girl playing soccer and they have been together for like 6 months, and he lost it to her. He's really come out of his shell the last little bit. You sound like such a good friend. Thank you. I spent too much time studying while in school and forgot socializing was a thing. 
This now lead me to my current predicament, where I have a high paying job but no one I could call even a friend. Let alone a so lol. Bruh that sounds awful. If the thought of having a friend is tempting enough, start trying to get one. Find a club with your interests, or go on trips, to explore your hobbies more. You'll find people along the way. Joining a club is a great idea, but if you find a so, then you get their friends. It's like 10 for the price of 1. You definitely do not want your only friends to be your so's. Cannot emphasize that enough. I. M. Lost my virginity at 31. I was generally uninterested in dating in my early 20s and spent most of my time smoking pot and playing video games. In my late 20s it became apparent I had no skills trying to attract the opposite sex. I went on and off again trying to meet someone using dating apps, but most women lost interest in me after the first date and the rest after the second or third. I had given up on dating again, when my sister set me up on a blind date with someone her husband knew. We surprisingly hit it off. Fast forward a few months and the time comes to do the deed. I was understandably nervous. There are things about sex no amount of porn can prepare you for. Namely the smell, taste, and mechanical execution of work that is sex. The first time was awkward, but it got better. I must not have sucked at it as much as it felt, like I did, because we've been married for 6 months now. Edit, when I said smell and taste, I mean that they are distinct, not rank. It concerns me, that the first thing you mentioned, was the smell Lala did. It was just funny to me the way he wrote it. Everybody got their own custom booty stack. It's fine. You've reached the end, you're a star. Destroy the subscribe button for more like that.